Now let's continue with example 7. In how many ways can four girls and five boys sit in a row if the boys and the girl must sit alternate to each other? So we have five boys. I'm going to write down here five boys. And then the girl must uh, sit alternate to the boys. So the girl will be here. So the number of arrangement is, uh, we just arrange the boys, okay, which is uh, 5 factorial. And then we are going to arrange the girl, 4 factorial. Okay, so the answer will be 2,880 ways. Let's move on to example 8. Four digit numbers are to be formed from the digit 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 without repetition. How many numbers can be formed uh, if each number is less than 5,000, begins with digit 4 or 6, is between 2,000 and 6,000, is an odd number. Okay, so let's look at the first one. So for question A, we want the number to be less than 5,000. So if the number is less than 5,000, so that means uh, the number which can occupy the first place is only 1, 2, 3, and 4. Okay, so we have 4 choices here or 4 ways to fill in the first place. And then uh, all together, okay, for the option, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7 numbers. And then uh, we are going to take one number for the first place. So we are left with another 6 numbers. 6. 5 and 4 Okay, and then multiplying 4 times 6 times 5 times 4 The answer will be 480 Okay, that is the answer for question A And then for question B We want the digit to begin with either digit 4 or 6 So we have only one way here And then take out one number We are left with another 6 numbers Okay, and then for the next place, 5 numbers And here is 4 numbers Okay, here we are left with uh, another 6 number eh, Because we already taken 6 here So we have 6 more options And then for the next place, it will be 5 And then for the next one, it will be 4 eh, Because uh, this is without repetition Okay, so uh, you multiply and plus okay, Or means plus Okay, we are going to get the answer 240. And then for question C, we want the number to be between 2000 and uh, 6000. Okay, assuming X is the number. Okay, so that means uh, the digit which can occupy the first place will be 2, 3, 4 and 5. Okay, so we have four options here. And then take out one number, we are left with 6. Okay, and then take out another number. We are left with 5. And then, uh, for the next place, it will be 4. Okay, and then we have to multiply it. So, we have 480 as the answer. Okay, and then for question D. Okay, we want uh, the 4-digit number to be odd number. So, we have to look at the last place. The last place must be odd. Okay, so the, the digit which can occupy... Uh, the last place will be digit 1, okay, digit 3 and digit 5. Okay, so that means we have 3 choices here. And then take out one number. Uh, we should left with 6 number. Uh, but remember, 0 cannot occupy the first place. So we are left with 5 choices here. Okay, so from the last place, uh, we took out one number. And then we have to take out zero because zero cannot occupy the first place and then for the second place uh, zero will rejoin okay the digits so we are left with another five and we have four here and then we multiply it we get 300 and okay, we multiply five times five times four times three so let's look at example nine how many four digit even numbers can be formed from the digit zero one two three four five six and seven to make up between 2,000 and 6,000. Okay, for situation A, without repetition. 
And for question B, with repetition. So let's start with question A first. Okay, so to form even number, we have to look at the last digit. Okay, last digit must be even. Okay, so let's look at a few possible combinations. So, from the question, we are given uh, numbers 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. In order for the four-digit number to become even, the last digit must be even. Okay, so let's start with if it ends with uh, 0 first. So 0 will occupy the last place. So it will be one way here. Okay, and then don't remember the question also states that the number must be between 2,000 and 6,000. So that means digit which can occupy the first place is 2, 3, 4 and 5 only. Okay, because it is between 2,000 and 6,000. Okay, 6,000 is not included. Okay, so we have... Uh, four ways here so from this two we are already take out two numbers okay so what's left after we take out two number is we still have six numbers or six digits okay and it will be five digits here and then we multiply we have 120 next uh, let's look at if it ends with number two okay so two will occupy the last place it will be one way okay and then for the first place only three four five can occupy the first place because the number must be between two thousand and six thousand so we have three ways here okay so from the first place and the last place we take out two digits so we are left with six more digits here and five more digits here so when we multiply we will get the answer 90 now, if it ends with 4, okay, so we are going to put 4 for the last digit. So, we have one way here. Uh, the first place must be occupied with 2, 3, and 5. So, we have 3 choices. And then we take out this 2 digit. We are left with another 6 digit. Okay, and here is 5 digits. Okay, and lastly, if it ends with number 6, 6 will occupy the last place. It will be one way here. But the first place can be occupied with 2, 3, 4, and 5. So we have 4 choices here. Take out these 2 digits. We, we are left with 6 more. And here it is 5. Okay, don't forget to multiply. Uh, for this, we will get 90. And for here, will be 120. So the number of permutation is we just add everything. Okay, from uh, number 1, 2, 3, and 4. So we will obtain 420 ways. So this is the answer if the digit cannot be repeated. But uh, for B, the digit can be repeated. Okay, so for the last places, uh, we are going to choose even number. So it will be 0, 2, 4, and 6. So it will be 4 ways. And then for the first places, there will also be 4 ways. Okay, it will be 2, 3, 4, and 5 here. Okay, and then uh, we still have 8 digits here because this is with repetition. So the answer will be 1024. But uh, we must minus 1 permutation from 1024 because we must exclude the number 2000. So excluding the number 2000, the number of permutation will be 1023. Now let's look at example 10. Three married couples have bought six seats in the same row for a concert. In how many different ways can they be seated uh, with no restriction? Okay, so without restriction, we just arrange six people. Three married couple consists of six people. So we just arrange uh, six people. It will be 6 factorial equals to 720 eh? without restriction. That is the arrangement. Okay, if each couple is to sit together. So we have three couples. Okay, we have husband and wife, husband and wife, husband and wife. Eh? So we are going to tie them together. Okay, because uh, they must sit together. And then we are going to calculate them as one unit. So we have three factorial here. And then multiply with. 
among them, among husband and wife, they are going to arrange each other. Okay, so this is for three couples. So the answer will be 48. Okay, next, uh, let's look at question C. If all the men sit together to the right of all women. Okay, so all the men must occupy uh, to the right of all women. Eh? The position to the right. So we have all the husband here on the right. And all the wives is on the left. Okay, so they are going to sit together. Okay, so we are going to tie them together. We are going to group them together eh? because they must sit together okay so the arrangement will be three factorial three factorial for arranging three wives and three factorial for arrange uh, three husbands okay we don't have to multiply with two factorial because it is already stated that men must sit together to the right of all women so we don't have to arrange them okay either men must sit on the left or on the right because uh, in question clearly stated that men must sit on the right of all women so we just arrange all the wives okay all, all the women and we just arrange all the husbands so three factorial times three factorial the answer will be 36.